Let's learn to solve one step equation starting with this one. Now I'm pretty sure that you could guess what this one is. We're going to start with examples like this so we can really focus in on the algebra skills. Now for this one, our goal is to get x by itself by undoing whatever happened to x. And in this case, the x had a 3 added to it. Now I'm going to think of this equation as being on a scale with that equal sign right in the middle. Whatever I need to undo one side, like subtracting that 3, I need to also do on the other side. So I'm also going to subtract a 3 on that right hand side. As I do the math to work this one out, I've got the 3 minus 3 turn out to be a 0, so I get just an x on that side. And on the other side, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. And our answer, our solution, is x equals 2. In this next one, I've got 3 times x is equal to 15. Again, I'll bet that you can guess at what this answer is. Now for this one, our goal is again getting x by itself by undoing. But this time, we're going to undo this 3 that got multiplied by the x. To undo a multiplication, we're going to need to divide. So let's go ahead and take that 3 times x equals 15. And I want to divide both sides to keep it balanced by that 3. So if I divide the left-hand side by 3 and the right-hand side by 3, I can cancel the two 3s, and I end up with an x on the left-hand side. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5, and 5 is our solution. In this next one, we've got a division problem. So I've got x divided by 3 is equal to 12. We again want to get x by itself by undoing, and we're going to undo that division. Let's go ahead and work through this one. So I've got x divided by 3, or x over 3, is equal to 12. I want to undo that division by 3. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. And I want you to think of that as a 3 over 1, so we keep everything lined up over on the left hand side and then on the right hand side we don't really need that 3 over 1 it's going to be 12 times 3. Now working this out I can cancel the 3 in the numerator and denominator and I get just an x over 1. Well x over 1 is x so we've got x by itself and 12 times 3 is equal to 36 and we've got our solution of 36. This next one is for you. x minus 4 is equal to 11. Now again, I bet you can guess at the answer, but see if you can use those algebraic techniques. Pause the video or go ahead and stay on and follow along with me. Now I've got x minus 4 is equal to 11. I want to undo that subtraction by 4 to get x by itself. So I'm going to add a 4 on the left hand side and whatever I do to one side, I've got to do to the other side. So we're going to go ahead and do the math on this one. The minus 4 and the plus 4 leaves me with just the x on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, I end up with 11. 11 plus 4 is equal to 15. There's our solution. x is equal to 15. I'll bet you did great. And you are ready for two-step equations. Take a look at my video here. Thanks for watching.